Welcome to Chuck Bills. Today we are replacing my parents' Honeywell thermostat with an Ecobee. They have two Ecobees already here and this one is outside the system, but there's a catch because this one has no wires, it's wireless. So we get to run new wires, which means we get to pick our new location for this thermostat and get it all wired up and set up to work with the rest of their smart home. Follow along. So this is where we're thinking about putting the new thermostat in this um, cavity of the wall here. We can find it based on the wire for the doorbell chime. I just made it really easy to find this section of the wall. And we'll go up in the attic and drop the wire. It's a little messy up here, but I was able to find the doorbell in blue coming up to this doorbell transformer. And then I found the white line, which I assumed is going to the chime and trace that along the rafter here. And we we're able to pry up some boards and cut some to find the exact wall cavity where that chime is. And based on measurements, we are pretty sure that's where it is. But I'm gonna use a camera real quick to make sure. And I'll show you that before we start drilling too much. So I'm using a cheap Endoscope camera from eBay. I think they're like 20 bucks. And I love using this when fishing wires because it lets me see inside of the wall in that cavity. I can move the camera around with a light on it and make sure that there's no obstructions. We can see the outlet box for the chime and we can go way down in there and make sure that there's no fire block. It's a little tricky to get it oriented exactly how you need it, but it's way better than not knowing. So we know where our chime is. We're in this wall cavity. We have measured out our hole to where we're gonna make a pallet hole to hold the cable for the thermostat wire and hold the Ecobee thermostat. We can see on the screen, the hole that we made, there's light coming through and we're in the correct cavity. So we're gonna continue with plumbing the wire. So we're gonna take our thermostat wire and feed it through the hole and have a helper ready to grab it on the other side. All right, and so my dad got the other side of it. We'll go check that out. All right, so we have the thermostat wire out of the wall. We use this Klein Tools fish and hook. Um, you got these poles that light up, you can put in here, and it's great for fishing wires through walls. I'll have a link in the description to an Amazon affiliate link for that. And now we're going to set up the actual Ecobee thermostat and get this side wired up before we finish in the attic because it's getting hot. All right, so we're putting our Ecobee wall plate on. We fished the wire through the center and it came with these screws and there's a little bubble level in the middle so we can make sure it's straight. I'm gonna center it on the hole as best we can. And I'll start with the top screw. You don't wanna do it so tight that you can't adjust it. That bubble level. I also wanted to call out that I am not using the Ecobee wall plates that they recommend. I just don't like the look of it. It's big white plastic. I think it's pretty sleek when the Ecobee is right on the paint. Um, it looks like it belongs a little bit better. So I'm gonna put a lot of this wire back in the wall before I cut it so I can pull it out the top. Just did that so it's easier to fish. So inside this wire, there's gonna be five conductors. I think that's what we need. I'll have to double check, um, but we need to strip this casing off the outside. So I'm gonna use my wire strippers and just lightly score the outside of this casing to not cut the wires inside, but pull apart the brown outside. And I should be able just to slide this off. And I wanna separate our wire colors here because we'll be hooking them up to these terminals. And we'll need to strip just a little bit off the ends. And I love using this tool aid wire stripper because it's clean, repeatable sizes and it just takes the guesswork out of how much wire to pull. So I'm gonna connect just one of these wires um, here. I think green's for ground, just so it doesn't fall into the wall. You just push this tab down and punch it through and it'll hold it in place. And we'll go up in the attic and make sure that we're hooking up the correct colors to the correct sections. All right, so I've 
unraveled plenty of this wire to get it next to our AC unit where we're going to be plugging this up in the thermostat section. This is a multi-zone controller and I don't really know it that well so thankfully we have some documentation underneath it and we'll get this set up. So we have our thermostat wire that we just ran. We have our AC controller with multiple zones for multiple thermostats. I'm fairly certain we're going to be going to thermostat one, but before we do that, I need to trim this up so that we can get our conductors out. And I'm just going to score the outside lightly so I can pull the sleeve off just like that. Separate these out a little bit. I'm using my tool aid automatic wire stripper that's super helpful. I'll get clean repeatable strips on all of these. Just like that. So the old thermostat was using these wireless ABCD sections, but we do have another Ecobee thermostat in the master bedroom here. So I'm gonna wire it the same because it's the same equipment and uh, just kind of mimic it as best as I can. Before I do that, I'm gonna pull out these wireless ones. You just have to push down on those tabs and use the corner of the pliers. We'll take our new thermostat wire here and we'll just call, kind of follow a pattern. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna be on zone one. Um, we'll put Red and red. We got blue and C. We've got white and W1. We've got yellow and Y1. And then green goes to G for ground. So we've got that wired up upstairs in the attic and we will go hook it up to the Ecobee and see if it turns on. So we are at the Ecobee side now and we have the other side wired up. First thing we're gonna do is match the colors. We had blue on common. So I'm gonna get that in here and push it in as far as you can. Um, we had white on W1. So if I get this lined up. And then for the red, we only had one R on our system. And Ecobee says if you have only one R to match it to RC and do not use a jumper. So we're going to put red into RC, which is cooling. And then yellow was yellow one. So we'll get that plugged in there. Make sure they're all in as far as you can get them. We don't want much copper sticking out. So push that green a little bit. And that should be pretty good. Then I'll just trim some of this fiberglass from the wires just out of the way. And then we're ready to attach our Ecobee. So now we're going to attach the Ecobee. You've got some pins on the back and a shape that makes sure you only put it in one way. Make sure those pins line up and attach it to the wall. And we'll give it just a moment and it should turn on if you have the correct wires plugged in so we can see high and then it's turning on. All right, so the Ecobee is on and we're gonna go through the setup process. Let's get started. I'm a homeowner, only RC is connected. And I'll double check that. Believe that is correct. Uh, we have no accessories installed. We want to use Fahrenheit. We have a furnace and we want to control it by the thermostat. And then we'll call this, we'll enter our own name. Um, we're going to skip pairing the smart sensor till later. 
So we're going to set up through Wi-Fi network. Okay, so we're connected to the Wi-Fi. We'll hit next. We're going to set the current mode to auto. Ideal temperature in winter, we'll just keep at the default. And then summer, we'll do 75. We're in the US. We are in central time. And then in the app, when you click add device, it'll ask for a code. So we'll type that code in to link the thermostat. And it'll give you a success message. We'll keep pressing next to set up in the app. And then we can see it inside of the app here that it's set up. So on the screen, we'll hit finish. We're registered. So we have to do a tutorial. All right, and so the thermostat's installed and we've cranked the AC down to 72 to verify that it's running. And when we go stand under an air vent, we can feel the cool air. So this was successful, got it all wired up and set up. There was one setting on the uh, upstairs air conditioner handler that we had to change to turn off the wireless so that it would start using the wired zone one. Once we did that, it worked fine. All right, we're gonna add the smart sensor that came with the thermostat. You're gonna go to the plus button in the corner, add a device, room sensor, smart sensor. We're gonna scan the QR code on the device. And then we got it scanned. We're gonna add it to our kitchen thermostat. We're gonna pull the tab out of the battery. It found it. And then we can label where the smart sensor is and we'll put back living room. And we want all the comfort settings. Gives us some instructions about where to put it and we're all good. So we'll go drop that on a table.